Hi, nice to meet you guys. I'm Ariana. Hey, Ariane. Hi. 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 So tell me a little about a bit about each of your characters. Who wants to begin, please? I, okay, I'll just I'll go. Hi. Uh, yeah. So I play Roach. Um, he's the cook and the surgeon on the ship, and so uh, he's very uh, slick in the terms of you know his name's Cockroach, so he's all about surviving. I'm sure he's seen a bunch of ships that he's survived, you know, because at the end of the day, every pirate ship needs a cook and a surgeon. And so he's, I think he's seen his fair share of pirate ships. And in this particular, on this particular ship, I think he's just about wanting to survive. And at the same time, loving any, anything that has to do with blood and meat, either as a cook or as a surgeon. And so, yeah, torture comes to mind. Awesome. <laughs> um, Lucius uh, is the scribe. <laughs> Hey, Matt, I'm talking. No, I'm not talking. Um, 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 no, you go ahead. Go ahead. Yo, yo, Nathan, go for it. Yeah, yeah. We have a kind of like a horrible relationship. Um, no, <laughs> Lucius is Lucius is the uh, scribe on the ship. He's the only pirate that can read and write. And so he ends up getting like roped into being Steve's kind of like right hand man because Steve wants to keep these kind of memoirs. Um, Lucius is um, the way he was described to me was like the intern who's too smart for their job, um, which immediately I was like, yeah, yeah I, I can, I can totally do that. Um, and I guess Lucius is, I think he's one of the more, the way his character unfolds over the season, he's one of the more like unexpected characters, I guess. Like you, you, you like he's, he starts off sort of seeming one way and then you peel these layers back and you realize there's maybe more to him than me. Yes. Um, are you, can I? <laughs> Matt, no, go ahead, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Black Pete is a um, is uh, is a pirate. He is sort of uh, even though he's been uh, sort of a pirate for many many years, I still I think he still has this idea of what like, what a pirate is supposed to be, um, and he's sort of like he's like a pirate fan, you know. He's like obsessed with the minutia of pirating. And I think that weirdly, his obsession with he being an image of his ideal pirate actually prevents him from being a good pirate or prevents him from actually like being a pirate at all. Like he's sort of outside of the whole experience um, in a way that uh, he sort of gets in his, his own way. Um, you know, he tries to start a mutiny. Um, he sees himself like he should be the captain of the ship, even though he really knows nothing about being a captain of a ship and can't command authority and no one takes him seriously. And I think his journey over the season is sort of being uh, comfortable with who, if you will, the pirate that he is, you know, discovering the actual, what black he actually is, is the pirate. And um, so he's, he's sort of, uh, he, he, they would say, he, Black Pete is sort of very, has a lot of like self loathing that he sort of projects out into the world as uh, being angry at everybody else. Yeah. What yeah. Exactly? I think I'm very comedic, but, but uh, it's funny as hell. <laughs> <laughs> we're all, we're all something. Yeah. What attracted <laughs> you guys to the project to begin with? Um, I guess how different it felt. It felt genuinely like it was doing something that I, I hadn't really seen before. You know, I never like saw myself as ever being cast as a pirate. Do you know what I mean? You've got a gun to my head and been like, what's your casting? I wouldn't have been like, you know, assistant pirate. You know, I, it, it just seemed like such a, it, it was something so different and so fun and, and the writing so good, you know, it's so genuinely there. I remember the pilot script when I read it, when I auditioned genuinely made me laugh out loud. Um, so yeah, just the, the real like the and the team behind it was so you know un, like dreamy. So yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, I've been a huge fan of Taika Waititi for a very long time. You know, with his movie Boy and uh, What We Do in the Shadows, Hunt for the Wilder People. So as soon as I saw his name attached to this and David Jenkins, um, that combination to me was like, oh my god, this is like this is gonna be something very unique. And as soon as I saw that Reese was cast as Steed Bonnet, I just knew that this Trinity of people was gonna be just hilarious. Um, and and so I immediately wanted to be a part of it just because I knew that A, it's a period piece. How often do we get to play pirates? And B, I just knew that it wouldn't be your typical pirate show. It's not Black Sails, it's not Pirates of the Caribbean. It's, it's really something that we haven't seen before, which is a workplace comedy on a pirate ship. 
Yeah, I, I knew David Jenkins actually before in New York as a playwright. Um, and I thought he was really talented and I really love people of Earth. And so I was, you know, really wanting to, to work with him on something. And then, and completely separately, I've been like, oh, you know, I love, you know, what we do in the shadows and, and all type of stuff. And, and then, so when the audition came and they were working together, I was like, uh, uh, you know, my head kind of exploded and, um, and Alison Jones was casting and I was like, uh, this is, this is like four different things that I want to be working on all in one project. So, so that's really what it was. It's just a chance to work with these people that I think are so talented. You know? Great. Uh, what would you say was the funniest scene to shoot for each of you? <laughs> I think uh, the scene where we're making flags, be uh, sorry, the scene uh, where we're, where we're uh, with the British officers, because um, that, was, that was the first time we were all like in character as pirates, dealing with these very pompous, you know, British soldiers coming on board to have high tea, you know, and then us as pirates have to pretend to be gentlemen. Um, and, you know, we have to pretend not to be pirates. And that was really fun to act because, you know, you've got these British, you got Rory, who's amazing, Rory Kinnear, uh, you know, being a very pompous British, you know, uh, naval commander. And at the same time, all of us pirates dressed up and trying to really keep it together and so tempted to attack but uh, having to control ourselves. And that was just a lot of fun to play with and really hard to keep a straight face. And explain your flags from your arts and craft project. <laughs> <laughs> Very creative flags, I might add. You know, we might not be good pirates, but we're damn good at sewing. <laughs> for, for me, the, the, the first scene that we shot and literally it was like we, barely, we still barely knew each other was the first scene in the pilot where Reese is like, giving us a lecture about like the type of ship he wants to run and we'll talk it through as a crew and, and that all that stuff. That was day one. And so, and, and Taika had us improvise a lot or he would like from behind the camera be like, you say this, now you say this. And was sort of like, it was like being thrown into the deep end of a pool where we're just sort of getting to know each other, just like trying to figure out who our characters are in relation to everybody else and in inside this thing and try and everybody is just sort of trying different things, trying different lines, making each other laugh. And that was very like, it was like, oh my God, we're really, and you know, we have been waiting to shoot this pilot ever since we got cast. So there was all this anticipation and, and there was just such a charge to that day. Uh, and that was really fun. And I remember being like, really scared, but also like really in the moment of like, oh my God, we're a crew and we're making a show and we're a cast, but sort of censor ourselves as like a pirate crew and like also a cast of actors together trying to make something happen. So sort of all came together like kind of on day one. And it was really exciting. Oh, mine's not even like wacky. Mine's just I. I remember <laughs> it's from a it's from a, a later episode. It's not a spoiler, but it, I it, it was just I did a scene with Matthew Mayer, TV's Matthew Mayer. You've heard of him, um, and we Matt had to say to me, oh, he had to say the words nervous tummy. He had to ask me if I had a nervous tummy. You'll see it. Episode, I can't really remember what episode it is, but um, I think it was towards the end of the shoot and I was so delirious. We were just so tired. I think we'd been shooting for like 14 hours that day or something ridiculous. I think I was fine. I was, uh, oh, uh, uh, yeah. It wasn't um, just <laughs> um, no, but just the way that Matt, every single time he would say it in the exact same way, he would say, you're becoming, and it just, it, and the, the way he did it every single time, and it was just one of those scenes, I think Samba was in that scene too, and I genuinely started to panic, I was like, I don't know I'm going to be able to do this, like, what if I actually, what would happen if I just don't do the scene, um, and, but we managed to get it in the end, but it did, I, I was, I was deranged that day, I just couldn't stop laughing. Yeah, it's the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> One more quick question. It seems like Lucius and Black Pete might have something going on. Is would you describe that as a casual relationship, or could there be something more? Because Lucius is a bit flirtatious. 
Yeah. Uh, you're gonna have uh, to <laughs> you're gonna have to tune in to find out. I mean, yeah, to wait and see. Yeah, Lucius, yeah, yeah, Lucius knows what he's. Lucius has turned a trick or two in his time, I think, and uh, <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he's got he's got his you know his feminine wiles. But yeah, there's um there's something bubbling away. Maybe I think we see that a little bit in episode five. So. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me and congrats on the show. I can't wait to watch the rest of it. Thanks. Everybody. Thank you. Bye. Bye.